Hello everyone, hopefully you're having a good 2021 here. Sorry about the slight delay in the video, had some OBS and uh, editing software issues, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome montage effect in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is great, completely free, and I use it for almost every project I do. It's a really great editing software. So, let's jump into the editing. So, once we're here in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we want to do is come down to the settings icon in the corner here and click on it. This will open up all the settings. Now for a montage, I usually go with 1080p, but then make sure you have this set to 25 FPS. Although, you could set that to 60 if you want it to be smoother in your editor here. So once you've got all these set, there's a million billion, you can maybe do a preset. I have this one for... 1080p at 60, but I do not want that because I want to keep this at 25. We say, well, if you change something, save for me, just cancel. And now we are in our just editor. And we might want to name this something. We can do that in a sec. We can just save it. Ask us for a name. Just call test. All right, uh, so now we need our media. So you just want to go into your file, find wherever your clips are, and drag them into the media pool. And it'll ask you about changing the frame rate, say change, and boom, you have your clips. So these are actually the clips I used for a previous montage on my channel. You can go watch. Um, and I tend to just go to this edit page. So I have these shots in order. This one is the double touch. I, I could probably just show you the shot. This is the entire shot from start to finish with shaders on. You can see it's very slow. But if we pan through it here, you see I'll go up the wall, hit the ball, and hit a little double. They're really nice little shot. So I think I want to start with me just lining up for the ball here. So first thing I'm going to do is make this lots of space, double this up, and drag this into here. I just at the open in point for your shot and play it and you, if it's slow you can pan through pan through about here we'll say I want it to end I and end there oh there so I for this one I over oh, that one and then you can drag it into your timeline and it will appear and play at 25% speed in this window so, also you might want to zoom out a little bit here so you can see your whole shot. What you're going to want to do now is change this clip speed to put it back to the original speed. So I recorded this at 25% at, um, speed. So change clip speed and we want to change this back to 400% um, and frames per second. Why? Wow, that should be 25 but that, that should be okay. And boom. It is back to where it is and sometimes it'll do the thing where it changes the the time and then we want to just come here and click control shift open bracket and that'll put it back here and now we have our first clip in our montage here so now we have our second clip which is a little cinematic of coming up the wall and we're going to drag that into here and start the in point and then play it along, and this one will last for quite a while. Hit the ball, and before the camera stops, this is a mistake I made on my last montage. You want to set this in point so that the camera is still moving so it looks smooth when you do your transitions. So like right there, the camera was still moving. So now we can drag this into here, and change the clip speed to 400%. Change it, and now we have it just go right in. And we'll work on speed remapping these in a second. All right, next clip. We have this little shot of the double being scored. Put it in here and do the same thing for it. So we'll start, like, remember, start when the clip is moving and your dolly cam is active. Wait, 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 wait. Little double, kaboom, and right about... Wait for as long as you can. There. See, I want to make sure this point 
have some of the shots still moving. And then we can drag this in here. And, oh, so you can see actually right here, the, the camera stops. So our clip should be ending there. This clip should be starting there. So sometimes when you do this change speed, it will uh, mess up the, uh, I don't know why, but it'll mess up the, um, your time remapping and it'll just start from where it's not supposed to be. If you want to see if it works, you can turn off magnet and then you'll get a very precise view. Uh, and stop the clip right there, control shift, bracket, boom, cuts it off, and there. This is now our three clips. Now we have one more clip in here, if I can find it, of the shot being scored. So drag it into here, find where the camera starts to move or where you want it to start. For me, it's right there and watch through the video to we want the clip to end you can try and get this very precise using the arrow key do some jitter clicking and see there the camera stops moving so we may want it there and we can like this into here oh and see what happened there is the magnet wasn't on so we weren't snapping so turn magnet on and it should just snap now we're going to say change clip speed, 400% change, and there we go, we have our small little montage clip here, and currently it just looks like this, let me just add some more volume so we can all hear it. it to be a little slower and have some speed ramping here and this is where the real exciting bit starts so first maybe I'll just pull a little fade in I wouldn't suggest a lot of transitions but a little fade in like that can add just a lot of um, help to your clip so first we're gonna click on this guy and zoom in zoom in some more we want to have this pretty much fill up the entire space and what we're gonna do is say retime curve and then in this retime curve, we're going to go click this down arrow and go down and say retime speed. And what this will do is give us this speed graph. And as you can see, this clip is progressing at plain old 400% speed. And so it's a straight line. But what we can do is if we wanted to shoot into out here, slow down. And then speed up again. We can add points. Say that bit's slower. That bit slower. That bit's faster. That bit slower. And you can line it up so that it takes about the same amount of time. But now our clip's gonna speed in, slow down, and go fast again. And then it's kind of tricky. Sometimes the computer will not render it perfectly. You might need to adjust, if you go up to 500, you can adjust where your lines are. And I would just recommend trying to get this so that it's a nice U sort of shape. I like that. And so this clip as well, I want to say curve, three time curve, and then three times speed. Drag over here a little bit. And see where we go a little too zoomed out. So we'll zoom a little bit. Aha, uh -huh, get this all set up. So next what we're going to do for this one is we want to, I think we want to go faster to here. Slow down through here. Faster through here. As you can see, you can. I'm starting to hit the ball and while I hit the ball, I want to be slower. And so about here, I want to ramp up to a nice fast ending. So now what we can do is start faster. We may have to change this a bit so we can see it all. We can see if my computer doesn't die, it's gonna happen. So it's a little bit not very distinct. So what we can do is make the parts that are important really slow. So like this is kind of important. We can slow down a little here. Oof. 
a little faster through here and then right here is a big important moment so we're gonna put it way down to maybe yeah 233 and that's what that's gonna do is be very slow through there and honestly i like this bit a little faster this bit a little slower and just play with it until you get it where you want so slower faster that works and then come in here and smooth out these points and often i'll do go get pretty abruptly and then kind of slowly come out of it so like boom that looks good that looks good again abruptly for this first bit and smoothly out for the second bit we don't have any volume on this this is just a video so now we're gonna go to second to last clip and we have the same process um, except this one I want some very dramatic three time for three times speed and then we're gonna go yep we already did that and zoom out some more it's supposed to be big get it all zoomed to the proper amount there we go to the proper amount there we go and now what we're gonna do from this bit is Let's see, I think I'm just gonna go progress regular speed until right here. And right here I'm gonna have a humongous dip, just big dip. And then boom, I want the camera to zoom away from the camera. Okay, so right here, let me move this so that it doesn't get squashed. Right here, a big, big dip, like 100% speed, like really slow. And then right here, we'll make a little faster. And then nice. Oh, and I want to make sure that the explosion happens right on the point where we're speeding up again. And there we go. Now we have a big dip in our timeline. So it's faster and then slower and then faster again. There, and if you were doing this to music, I'd suggest lining up each of these to a beat, if you can. Um, also, if you were doing this to music, you might have right, like, here, with the skull explosion, marked, with a little marker, M, on the keyboard, M, and then you can line up a big beat of the music to that, and kaboom. And then the last clip, and my last montage was the final clip, and so it was pretty slow. But this clip will have it zoom out, slow down, and then zoom again. Like all of our other clips. So we're just gonna... Mm, I don't know. Let me, let me look. See how I... Don't do this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start slow and just kind of fade my way out. So, we're gonna come here. Uh, like right there. Right, yeah, wait, when do we start going up? And we're gonna make our first little keyframe. And faster, 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 faster. Oh, and right there. We're gonna end off the, there we are. Perfect, okay, and then here, we're gonna make it slower. Oh dear, the clip is, clip's doing something funny. Okay, just ignore that. And then, faster. And then right here, we'll need a big, long, Dissolve. There we are. Let's go that back there. Now if it's faster, and yeah, I like that. As long as it just keeps getting faster. So if you want it to keep getting faster, we can add another point. Scooch it up. This isn't the most smooth curve you'll ever see, but eh. Once the program decides to cooperate. <laughs> Why is this so silly? Come on, there we go. And then it might just be locked at a certain point, but you can kind of have it go. And then give a little extra accelerate at the end, get you out of there, and then maybe a little bit of a fade right there. And boom, you have your clip. Now I would suggest an area where you have gold explosion, especially a big gold explosion like this in the frame. I would suggest coming down to your um, toolbox over here. Video transitions. And then find this one. And this gives you a very nice montage uh, 
brightness sort of effect. It kind of reminds me of like Linksy's montages. And I really like this little dissolve, it's very nice. And then that is about how I edit my montages. And then if I was going to do a little color grading, I don't tend to. If I use reshade, I just use the reshade. But if you want to, you can color grade. So next thing, we just want to watch it through and make sure we like it. Yeah, so it doesn't have music or audio, but it's pretty good. Okay, so there's for your audio, and if you couldn't see the audio, I would suggest taking it, and it gets a little slow. So where you have a gold explosion like this, I suggest coming over here and turning this to four, clefs to four, and the semitones to four. Just type it in four. And that tends to put the noise back to a decent level. Um, you don't really need to mess with any of the rest of this. This is very complicated. I'm not the greatest at this part, but I'm um, just trying to get it to sound like the in-game. And these are honestly the most important, this um, clip pitch. Uh, and then, when you want to render this, name it something. And I would suggest you use this YouTube format. And so right here, I forgot to change in the very beginning in the settings tab, my frame rate to um, 25. So I was actually editing in 60. Uh, I got very confused here and talked about it for like three years trying to fix it. But pretty much what you want to do when you're ready to export, click on YouTube, set your frame rate to whatever it is, and drag it into the jobs queue and say start render. And then it should just appear wherever you put it. And the, you, then you can put it in YouTube. I would not use the uh, automatically upload to YouTube because there's just not as many different options you have. Um, so I would take the actual file and go drag it into YouTube. Alright everyone, that was it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial with how I use the Fusion page and also audio, um, subscribe and leave a like and that will be coming. These take a lot of effort to make, so any support you can give would be definitely appreciated. Bye!